That pile of stuff back there, all the furniture and the boxes and the bags and stuff, that's everything that has been downstairs in my basement. And now let me just explain why I brought it all upstairs. Got a little confession to make. Um, okay, the idea about bringing all the stuff from the basement up here into the apartment was so that I can lay out everything that I own, go through everything that I have, count it all out so I have a distinct number of all the stuff that I own. Now that I've done all that, bringing everything up, bringing everything into my main room, like my living slash office slash bathroom, room, 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 room. I'm not so sure anymore that I'm a minimalist, because it is a lot, and me now telling you that is, um, well, this video is going to be more of a flop than I thought. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, I own a lot of shit. Over here it looks quite normal. It is still quite normal. That's just my desk with all the stuff that's usually on my desk. Back there, home pod, my lightsaber, a tripod. All of my plans are over here. Here it starts to get a little bit. This box here uh, is filled with tools and boxes and packaging material. That's all like clothing, part of that. Underneath that, you know, the couch that I sleep in, that's completely filled up with stuff as well that I haven't put out yet. Let's go over here. That's a box with clothing and stuff that I have down here. That's all the same. Here it starts to get very, 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 very shitty. Board games and stuff. Here's stuff that I have in my bathroom. And here, weekend uh, documents and stuff. All that kind of shit, even that one. Part of my other clothing, two boost boards, more hygiene products, small bags, that war. I haven't even started to take stuff over my kitchen, you know? That's still all filled up. I'm now going to get back to what I originally planned for that video. Organizing, decluttering, and counting. I, I honestly, I just don't know where to start. Where, so everything that I counted, where, where can I put it? Where can I put it back? It's ridiculous how much stuff. Honestly, uh, even even if you're not a minimalist or not interested in minimalism, just get all your stuff, put it in one room, and see, notice, and feel of how much that is. I'm, I'm kind of overwhelmed. I, I really am. I'm really over because I didn't expect it to be, or at least to, to look at much as it does right now. And it's not that I want to get rid of all of that stuff. It is quite a lot. I think I need to declutter and I think I'm going to do that now. So I'm awfully sorry about this little interruption of what was actually planned to be a normal video. I'm getting back to that now. Jesus. And yes, I meant what I said. What you see me doing right now is going through everything, every little piece. Deciding if I need it, deciding if I want to get rid of it, count it all out, and as well try to already put it back to where it belongs. Going through every little box and count. Go through every little piece and count. Oh shoot, he found it. No, don't. Remember what happened? Yeah, put it back. Good boy. Okay, so I'm actually done with counting. Well, I own roughly 650 items which sounds a lot, which is a lot of things, but I just looked it up online. Germany, the country that I'm from, the country that I'm living in, the average household owns about 10,000 things. Uh, relieves me from some pressure. I really thought, uh, well, minimalism, that's not me. <laughs> of course, I didn't count everything, like every little single piece. So uh, let's say I own like 750 things. Still, I would be quite happy with that. So I'm 100% sure that you roughly- <coughs> Oh, stop. Uh, sorry for interrupting myself. The Simon you just saw isn't me. This is Simon from a few days ago on Saturday when all this happened. You can probably notice that he's a bit off track with the video and as I realized that in the edit just 
a few minutes ago, I decided to step in and take over for the rest of the video so that it all makes some kind of sense at least. The reason is all that stuff, all that decluttering, that organizing, that counting and laying it all out and putting it together, occupied my small but humble mind so much that I couldn't help myself, but yeah, lose track. So please, let me take over and tell you what really happened after all that. B-roll and voiceover montage! The question floating through the room probably is, why? Why am I doing all this? Why did I spend hours to get everything together, count it all out, declutter it, and then reorganize it? Minimalism for me is believing there is such thing as enough. And this doesn't mean to declutter everything in your life and live with exactly nothing. What items do you really need and how much of that? What items bring you true joy every time you see, feel or use them? This is what we want. Minimalism doesn't follow a book of rules or a level that you need to achieve and then you are done with it. It is an ongoing process as we try to make our lives a bit better by making it simpler. Would I recommend you to do it the same way that I just did? Well, yes and no. Yes, because it is quite fascinating to actually know what you own and what you've purchased. No, because, well, it's a whole lot of work and you might not find it as pleasing as I just did. Maybe the way for you is one item at a time, one drawer or a box at a time, or even a room at a time. Your life, your pace, your decision. What do I take from this mission? Well, four things. A new rule, nothing in the basement. I realize that I forget about things in the basement because I can't see it all the time. And I'm pretty sure if you think about it, you forget about stuff too. I also get a lot of motivation. I did enjoy all of that. I like to organize. As well, I get a different looking apartment. Again, it looks more filled now than it did before, caused by the new rule and by having more furniture up here, but it doesn't look decluttered. It looks organized. And last but not least, I get a smaller amount, a smaller total number of things that I own. Oof. What a crazy weekend and what kind of crazy video that was. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did so, please like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. New video every week, please check out my Instagram and my website. Last one is for my portfolio because I'm not a photographer and the other one is, um, um, well, Instagram, I guess. Anyway, I hope you have a nice day. I hope you are all doing well. I can't wait to see you all back again next week and, um, 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 oh yeah, uh, bye. <laughs>